Okay, we're going to do a series of um, ProPresenter 5 tutorials. Um, I made a video about how to import and how to apply templates to slides. Uh, I'm going to show you here now how to create or adjust templates. Uh, be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to make big changes, but uh, in some cases you might need it. In this case, for example, I have open here um, a Union Square file that has a white background and black text. If you'll notice, the templates that I created earlier are a black background with white text. And so you might find yourself in a situation where you need to have black words on a very light background. So what would you do with a template in that case? So how you adjust that is if you go into your template section and you go down to your Liberty Worship Slides, which is where you can find your template, you can go down to the Edit Template Group selection and it takes you into the Template Editor. So what I want to do in this case is not just change this one, I'm going to add another slide to this so that I have the option of black with white letters or white with black letters. So I'm going to right click this upper, uh, upper third Union Square thing, I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to right click again and paste it it's going to give me a second option. So if I go into this second option, I'm going to go to this section where I can change the slide label and I'm going to add to this um, black font. So that will be my distinction here. Now I'm going to change the font color, size and everything is okay. So I'm going to change my font color to black from white. So I'm going to click this little color picker and slide this dial over to black which is going to change the font but you're going to notice that the font is going to disappear because I have a black background. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to change the background to white and that will change it. Now if I select choose off of this and go back to it uh, for whatever reason, that's how it ends up showing up that it's right. So um, now my background's right, but you'll notice I have some shadowing here, um, which shouldn't be in your um, font template, and it's not part of our um, brand. So the way you get rid of the shadow, if you see it, is if you double click everything here or select it all somehow in the text, you'll see this little shadow guy that shows up in this third um, properties section. So if you uncheck the shadow, it will then disappear. No more shadow. So that is then saved into the template. Now if you want to adjust something else in the template, you can go ahead and do that. Just double click anywhere in the section and in this case like I'm going to capitalize the second line here. Um, which I like to do. That's something that we're going to be working towards in our templates is making sure that our second line of all of our slides is capitalized. Um, spacing is uh, adjustable. This gives you a crosshair to so tell you right when you're in the center of something. We have it adjusting by center here uh, for text alignment and then top to bottom vertical alignment. Uh, this way, which will give you these nice little crosshairs. Um, so if I wanted to do that for the music center as well, let's say I wanted a uh, white with background, I'm going to copy this slide, paste another one of these slides, I'm going to select it, we're going to change our font color after, whoops, see, there you moved it, I want to do that, oh, whatever. Change your font to black, Change your background to white. Uh, go back to the properties, double check everything, make sure that the shadow is off, and you are good to go. So that's how you make new templates or adjust existing templates. It will save them for you automatically as you exit the template editor. And that is how you adjust templates.